Job gives criminals and felons voting rights? Well, that's not shocking at all, since all he does is suck Chuck the donkey fucking cuck Schumer's dick for a living, looking like a constipated dick face, taking a boo in the loo while beating himself off to Mr. Sotero! Ah, What a fucking dumbass he is, right? I mean, can, can somebody fucking order... I mean, I don't know. Can... I, I don't... I don't understand the stupidities of people. Their stupidity levels are just so low, you, you can't even measure them on the fucking scale. I mean, the fucking retard meter is off the charts. You know, James Woods, that's actually an excellent question. Why the hell are American citizens forced to pay taxes benefiting illegals, and still forced to pay for Obamacare? I mean, God, man. California's become a real-life Dante's Inferno, and it's such a shithole, you might even say it's gone full-blown Nazi Germany up in this bitch. I mean, God, man. <laughs> How stupid does one have to be? <laughs> oh, I love this shit, man. Holy crap. <laughs> Can somebody get SEAL Team 6 to shoot Jerry Brown in the head already like they did with fucking Osama Bin Laden in 2011? Jesus Christ! I mean, come on. There's just no fucking way people can be this stupid. And here's a post from my friend Dorcas L. from Twitter. Yeah, okay, left awards this week. Jamel Hill fired racist big mouth. Journalist of the Year. Hillary Clinton, criminal and suspected murderer and Ponzi schemer, impact on society. Stormy Daniels, sleeps with people for money on camera, city key. Can Democrats, I mean socialists, sink any lore? And just think, last week, Hamas, Iran, and MS-13 made the headlines and Democrats couldn't stop praising him. I guess I should just call them socialists now, because that's what they fucking are, socialists. They're the lowest fucking form of life you've ever seen in your life. And you should never fucking vote for them. Ever. Don't vote for them. Vote red. Period. End of story. Bottom fucking line. If you vote blue, you're a fucking dumbass. So the day goes to Sadiq Suk Sadiq Khan. Kill the music now. Seriously, man. This guy is a Muslim who's also the mayor of London, England, and has literally turned the place into an actual shithole. I mean, fucking look. Look at what he's done. He has imprisoned a perfectly reasonable journalist named Tommy Johnson the same thing as he's done to all these journalists these right journalists because they're right about everything and they know they are and they're not afraid to admit it but he arrests these people for no good reason whatsoever just because they're not Muslim supporting ISIS members I mean, go figure, huh? I mean, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? What a fucking joke this is. Sadiq, why don't you go move in favor and suck Barack Obama's dick? Will ya? Fucking suck his dick, cause that's all you do that. OH MY GOD! Look, this is every Democrat in a nutshell. <laughs> it's time to stop! And of course, my friends JJ Truth and Trump Go For Life made this post about professional asshole John Kasich, who by the way is a rhino and doesn't deserve to be called a Republican. He deserves to be called a Satanist. By the way, 
let's just let's read this post together. This rhino traitor to the party might become a real ass ache in 2018 just to stick at the real Donald Trump. Kasich sucks! Yeah, I agree with you, Trump Go for Life. Kasich does suck. He also sucks donkey dick. I mean, he might as well be a Democrat because him being a fucking Republican doesn't make sense to me. It would make more sense if he was a socialist. By the way, why the hell did he get into the Republican Party anyway? Just to sabotage them? I don't know. Yeah! So, my president, real Donald Trump, who by the way is the real President 44, because technically Barack Obama never counted anyway. Who gives a fuck about Barack? Fuck him. Fuck him right in the ass. Anyway, Donald John Trump posted this tweet regarding the fact that Kim Jong-un apparently has pretty much relegated back to his old ways because we all know that Kim Jong-un is bullshit and nobody gives a fuck, but I do. Meanwhile, Donald John Trump posted this tweet. Sadly, I was forced to cancel the summit meeting in Singapore with Kim Jong-un. And that's actually quite reasonable considering the fact that Kim Jong-un fell back into his old tricks again. Which reminds me of that CM Punk promo on Jeff Hardy. You lose to me, you fall back into your vices. You lose to me, you fall back into your vices. You will lose to me, and you will fall back into your vices. Those words have never rang more true then as they do right now. And they've only continued to ring even more so in the years leading up to now and will continue ringing ever more true moving forward. And my man Wayne Dupree came up with this tweet and this is what it says. President Trump pardons late heavyweight champion Jack Johnson. McCain begged Obama to do this and was refused. So, McCain asked Obama and begged and pleaded with him to pardon Johnson, and he refused. Now the Arizona senator, who's basically going to die, by the way, because he has brain cancer and he's a liberalist, he's a selective retarded liberalist, will go to his grave knowing his enemy, Donald John Trump, filled that request. I mean, is it really a fucking shock? By the way, my, my friend Philip Schuler came up with this question for the Democratic Party. Democrats, why did you give Obama the Nobel Peace Prize? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, wait a minute, I know why, and I'm not even a Democrat. Because they're in league with Satan. Because they Heil Hitler. By the way, not to discredit progressive or anything that they've done, but why the hell do people buy this low shit? I don't fucking understand it. And that's no disrespect to her. Of course I respect her. I respect her just like I do anybody else and anything else. But let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you. Every fucking day we have to see her mug on the fucking TV, on our screens, on our fucking YouTube channel, on our social media, on our radio, all that shit. Haven't you had enough of her yet? Seriously? Have you not had enough of her yet? Because if you haven't, then believe me, you're delusional. And I don't know, I don't know why Progressive continues to push for this crap. I mean, seriously. She's an actor! She's not a real Progressive employee! She's an actor! An actor! And oh my god, what a surprise! Her real name is Stephanie Courtney! Oh, shocker! Yeah. Oh, Mr. Bush, you're in very shitty company right now, according to my good friend, Ron F. Mariano. By the way, nice job on the inside job that you orchestrated along with your family. Good job, seriously. Though. Nice work. By the way, you're so blood deep in shit right now that you have no absolute shred of an idea how big your bottomless pit of shit really is. As a matter of fact, despite knowing about it for all your life, as did every democratic president before you, 
you still have no shred of evidence to prove that you're not deep in that shithole. By the way, it makes perfect sense considering how deep you're in it, and considering the fact that you've always been in it from the very start of your life. And that makes perfect sense too, doesn't it? Kind of ironic. Also, top Iranian official John Kerry from my friend Houston Welder, also known by his Twitter name, Get Out in Vote, has been caught chanting death to America. Very, 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 very ironic. And definitely not much of a surprise there, considering you all knew about it a long past a fucking time ago. Which, in turn, makes it all very much look like a bunch of BAD NEWS! I'm afraid I've got some more bad... Okay, it was not. Great to Apparently, a few royal guard officers have been ousted from their positions, and all because they don't follow Muslim Islamic radical terrorists, because they don't believe in Muhammad and Akbar. Sounds like Canada's just shot their own battleship with their Bavarian Illuminati Satan warship. By the way, Canada has officially become a shithole thanks to Muslim worshippers like Justin Trudeau. Not that I need to mention him, but of course he takes all the credit for being the Barack Obama of Canada. Ironic, isn't it? Somebody touch a must forget! Finger up the butts! Courtesy of it. No mainstream yet. I don't know if that's what it stands for, but the hell with it. So, Maryland police officer's death ignites a racial firestorm. Yes, that's right, because racism will never die. Because as long as there are racists, there will never be an end to racism. Believe me, I know quite a few of them. And I don't even judge people by their covers, I just know what they're up to. Because I can know that stuff, because God allows me to know. By the way, in the US, officials worry that lava will block Hawaii escape routes. Why the hell should officials be worried about the lava that's spewing all over Hawaii when the state is run by a bunch of donkey, democrat, dick-sucking jackasses? It's so obvious, man. Oh, in other news, George H.W hospital because he's old as fuck. Let's just say that. He's bound to die soon. It's only a matter of time. Meanwhile, why the hell should anybody care about the NBA? It's overplayed players, or I should say overpaid in this case. They get paid millions of dollars every year to play 60 minute games that some of them probably don't even finish anyway. Right? An hour's worth of work for about what? Three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars a night? You kidding me? That's more than Brock Lesnar makes. And he appears on Raw, and every time he appears on Raw, he makes a half a million bucks. So, yeah. You're making more money than Brock Lesnar, and you're an NBA -er or an NFL, -er, or you work at the NBO, or whatever the fuck, or MLB or whatever the hell it's called. If you're a professional supporter and you make more money than Brock Lesnar, there's something seriously fucking wrong with you and you need to look for another line of work because you're getting paid too much. Seriously. By the way, this this site. It's like eBay, but everything sells in 90 seconds. 
gives a fuck. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Meanwhile, let's, let's look at all this other shit. They died on brutal day, now the book in the uh, Vietnam the war. Nah, don't trust anything the Washington Post is saying. They're always full of shit. And let me, let me, let me, let's, let's see what we got here. Adam the shithead ship. Throw the bombs out of Congress! Who the fuck cares about this ship? Go die in a hole, seriously. So the Star Wars story takes in 101 mil for the holiday weekend! Nobody fucking cares. The only reason why so many people pay to buy into that shit is because it's George Lucas's shining and frowning achievement. Something that took him his entire life to work on. By the way, that's the only reason why anyone comes to see his work in a theater if it's premiering live. I mean, come on. Seriously. Give me a break. I'm a big dum dum, shooting bullets out of my dum dum. Now me want gum gum, so I can go jump jump, motherfucker. Damn it, you got me for stop, please register me. Now I gotta beat the crap out of. Resuming the topic of overpaid sports players, this Reds pitcher is pissed off about a demotion. Those are his words, not mine. By the way. Why in the hell are you so pissed off? You get paid all this money to play a game of baseball, and you're pissed off because you get demoted? Come on, man. And I've got nothing against you, man. I think you're a great baseball player, but you shouldn't be complaining about a demotion. Seriously. By the way, LGBT issues loom as justices. We're ready to take this as well. We're ready to take this as well. We're ready to take this as well. By the way, Guy Fieri on his culinary pet peeves and what's next for diners, drive-ins, and dives. Oh, that's the same guy who hosted me to win it, right? In its original run on NBC. Then this guy named Apollo Anton. Oh no! Which, by the way, sucks. I mean, Guy Fieri's a great game show host, don't get me wrong, but. So much better as a culinary commentator and, and TV personality. Seriously, though, you know, honest to God, I, mean, I, I can't even. And 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 what about what about Danica Patrick crashing out of the Indianapolis 500, the Indy 500, right? What about her? Turns out she retired after this race. So it all comes together, because when you're in a sport like that, the risk of you dying is actually surprisingly high, considering all the people you're racing against, and that's not just in the Indy 500 in general, that's in all sports car races, regardless of Formula 1, NASCAR, any definite, any definite, seriously. Meanwhile, even toddlers know that their parents are shit. Because you know, you know how Judge Judy said that that if you're going to have a kid, you should have an IQ test or some other kind of psychological exam in order to make sure that you can have one without raising it to be a complete dumbass. Yeah, Judge Judy's words regarding that ring true even today, and it's become even more so from the very moment in which she said that some time ago. I'm sure it's on YouTube right now if you want to take a look at it. By the way, MSN has a lot of interesting stuff on their website. You should check it out. Wow! Are you fucking kidding me? How many moments do you two get? Honestly, you know, in life. Hey, I have a question. 
Why are I 50 points ahead? Dick face, douchebag, democratic, non-meaning, diarrhea, school, dictator, like thing with a donkey who's down with the devil and drags us in the dirt. Also, you're a dipshit and you don't give a fuck about anyone else but yourself. Which says a lot, doesn't it? You fuck. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I will show nothing! You loser! It's all out of here! Does every Democrat in that show a masturbate to Adam Weiss now to have sex with Barack Obama all day and day? Because all they want to do is like this. I mean, you know, because because I'm not I'm not a jackass. I don't. I don't. You know, I don't. I don't hit none. I'm not I'm not that kind of guy. I stand with God, and more importantly, I'm a pro-Trumper for life. That's just how I am. That's how I roll. I mean, seriously, man, you fucking kidding me? Why wouldn't I be a Trump supporter? Why else didn't I vote for Trump in 2016? Because I knew he was the only candidate. He wasn't just a candidate, he was the only candidate. Hillary Clinton, you never had a campaign. Hillary Clinton, you suck as a human being. And you ought to get the death penalty for what you tried to do against us all. So, yeah, there you go, man. It's all right there, black and fucking white. And you're a jackass because you don't know jack shit. You're selectively retarded. I'm a big dum dum, shooting bullets out of my dum dum. Now me want gum gum, so I can go jump jump, motherfucker. Wow! This week's winner of the special snowflake award is drum roll. On second thought, fuck the drum roll. James the Popper Clapper. All week long, he lied and cried, and he ended up. Bitching and whining and complaining and fussing and throwing a tantrum and bitching 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 about the mainstream media painting him in a negative light. What the fuck? What did you expect, Mr. Clapper? Seriously, you fucking kidding me? This is why I hate democracy. Because of bullshit like him. Living, breathing, walking sacks of bullshit. Like James the Fapper Clapper. And you know what? As a matter of fact, hell, I am going to retweet this. Because he absolutely deserves it. Yeah. The sad fuck. Cause he deserves what's coming to him. Let me tell you. And 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 let me let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. This this guy can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, what a fucking dumbass. Oh you fucking kidding me. Jesus Ah, Jesus! Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking idiot! I mean, seriously, this this is why I love to bash liberals. Seriously, this is why I love bashing liberals. <laughs> oh my God! Minnesota nice means passive aggressive. Not so here. Johnson is that rare Republican, even rarer in the land of ten thousand lakes who blends genuine wholesomeness with plain, direct speech. Hey, we finally got some good news! Yay! <laughs> oh, this, this guy is a saint. He really is. We need more people like him. I mean, I wish, though. I mean, it's just, there are not many people like him that come. And too many that go, I mean, seriously. 
We need more people like him, because the sure as hell aren't enough. Legit, man. Fucking lit. But the liberal has been brought to you by God Almighty, otherwise known by some people as Jehovah, and by his son, Jesus Christ, who he gave up on a cross in the year 33 or so A.D. Who would have thought that so much time later wouldn't be paying for it, huh? And it's also been sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is made possible by suckers like you. Thanks, you. Now,